Hi, this is Shea with Trucks of Sales here today to show you this 2019 Peterbilt 567 chassis that we have available for sale. We actually have several of these on order and in stock. Uh, I'm going to kind of talk about the different configurations that we're trying to keep in stock here as well as this one right in front of me. Talk about some of the weights, some of the specs and options that are available as well as take the truck for a little test drive here at the end of the video and just briefly uh, go over some of the performance and a uh, little review on the Allison Auto that's in this particular truck. Uh, so right here we have a 2019 Peterbilt 567 with a 20 foot max lane dump body from Hall Lane Manufacturing. So it's definitely nice trucks and on this one we got the lift axle in the rear um, to increase the axle spread so uh, you can haul more weight in most states with the longer uh, truck chassis here. Um, so on this particular truck, we spec this one uh, as light of weight as possible, basically. So on this one, we did a partial double frame instead of the full double frame. So it goes from the front of the cab, uh, the front suspension mount basically, to about 10 feet behind the back of the cab on this particular truck and we spec it with the PX9 engine uh, save about 1600 pounds over the X15 as well as the little Allison 3000 we have in here so if you can see it in there but that also is lighter than an Eaton Fuller 10 speed um, transmission as well by about 250 pounds. So we really spec this particular chassis to save weight. So this chassis um, with the max lane dump body, kind of the middle weight max lane dump body, you can haul uh, just a crack over 19 tons with this chassis. And then we also have another chassis um, available, Peterbilt 567, same setup with the um, partial double frame and the Hendrickson uh, Hall Max walking beam here. Uh, we have another one of these with the MX-11 and the 9LL transmission. We kind of prefer the 9LL over the 8LL because you get a double reduction first gear. So when you're on a job site, you can just really creep around and not have to use the clutch very much when you're doing a bunch of fine maneuvering. So definitely um, a good spec here. We have uh, 348s also spec similarly with the uh, manual transmission, but this one we're pretty much trying to keep two versions in stock. The MX-11 with the manual and the PX-9 with the Allison Auto. And you'll see when I get behind the wheel, this thing is just a breeze to drive. We got our reverse lights back there, and those are about as bright as headlights. So uh, those LEDs right there. Uh, this one's got the trench gate on it and the spreader chains right there there's a bunch of options manual safety locks more trench gates bed vibrators all that stuff that can be done as well as additional light package this one has the one row of lights running along the bottom of the bed we can also do a row of lights along the top of the bed and this is a high lift tailgate um, even though the air cylinder is in that back post there so kind of a cleaner setup that we like uh, we got the front quarter fenders here on the tires those match up right there with the dump body keep the mud off the front of the frame here um, and we got this uh, outside hoist with the strongest hoist base in the industry we got eight uh, basically uh, seven eighths bolts there on the holding the top of the cylinder and the bottom of the cylinder down there so if you see a lot of other beds with outside hoist they always have a lot of repairs on it but you're not going to see that on these particular hoists now um, just super strong we got the tarp there uh, out in front of the bed so you can still load right up in the front so that's one of the things with this particular setup if you see we got the sloping bed bigger in the front narrower in the back that's because on this particular truck you got to pile all the stuff um, 
in the front of the bed in order to have a balanced load. 20,000 pound front axle, Bridgestone 315s. Uh, we did the 315s over the 425s, save a little bit of weight and a little bit of price when you uh, need to replace your tires. Um, so that's something that's uh, pretty nice as well. And another thing that we do on this is get the setback front axle. If you can see the front of that tire right there uh, is about 18 inches from the front bumper. So that allows for a lot better turning radius. Because if you see in here, the steering box now is in front of the tire. So it allows a lot tighter wheel cut. So that's one of the things if you want a maneuverable dump truck, you really got to go with this setback front axle and it also helps to get a little more weight on the front axle because that's one of the things with this truck um, especially with that lightweight engine it's hard to get weight in the front so this particular dump body here with just the one lift axle in the back um, you really only load the front 15 foot of the bed so the whole back of the bed needs to remain empty you need about uh, six seven foot of dry floor is normally um, good, but I don't know, you could probably go to four foot of dry floor, really, but once you start getting closer than that, you end up overloaded on the rear axles. So this truck, you can get 42.5 in the back and 20,000 on the front for a uh, GVW of 62.5, but this one actually has a road legal GVW of 61,500. Uh, pounds at this length. We can make them a foot longer, but once we start going longer, sometimes we have to get into a longer bed because you can't get the weight onto the front axle. Um, another thing that we can do with this chassis um, with the MX-11 engine is what we recommend. Uh, and we have those with the full double frame um, as well where we can add three lift axles in front of the drive axles for a total of a seven axle truck and you get just a crack under 25 tons in most states with that configuration so that's something you're interested in we're trying to keep those um, in stock as well so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump in the cab here and with these chassis that we uh, custom ordered here and have in stock um, we get them all with the uh, keyless entry and kind of this tan interior with the black vinyl uh, seats in it there's Allison right there CB radio 29 miles on this one go ahead and fire it up here So even though this isn't the big horsepower in this PX9, it's about a 370 horsepower uh, setup. With this Allison Auto, it's still, I mean, you make up a lot of time when the truck is empty. I mean, this is really just like driving a diesel pickup truck around as you will see right now. I mean, just real simple, pushing the, uh, brakes there and off we go just gonna drive around the block here and do a uh, start here from zero to uh, 40 miles an hour just kind of see how long that takes just so you can kind of see um, the power but obviously the trucks empty so when it's loaded uh, that's when you will more be noticing that it only has 370 horsepower but like I said with the 370 horsepower you will climb any mountain you will get to the top of it it's gonna take longer than you know a big block with 500 horsepower but it's definitely um, weight savings and fuel savings to be had I would say the fuel savings on this particular engine and transmission combo over you know a 15 liter you should be seeing about $15 um, per day uh, in your bank account if you're driving the truck all day every day hauling loads here so Go ahead and bring it to a stop here Take a look at these gauges Okay, here we go full throttle See how long it takes us to get to 40 miles an hour 
There we go. So that was, uh, I'll have to look at the video, probably about 11 seconds, something like that. But it's not bad at all. I mean, try that with the manual transmission. I mean, you might be able to put it in high gear and full throttle clutch slip, but that's not something that's gonna be easy on the uh, transmission here. But you can see this thing just gets up and goes with this Allison transmission. There's actually settings um, if you don't want the truck to accelerate so quickly in the computer that you can set up that limits the acceleration on the truck. So there's a whole bunch of settings if you got drivers that you don't want, that you're worried about them speeding around, stuff like that when the truck's empty, because uh, that's the thing, it, it definitely um, moves out a lot quicker than other trucks. So. This is Shay with Trucks to Sales. Thanks for viewing this video. We've got a bunch of other videos online there talking about the differences between all the engine uh, and transmission combinations that are available in this truck. Uh, this video today was just kind of showing you the 567 uh, chassis that we're going to be keeping in stock here. And even though this truck's really long, we can make it in a various configurations and a bunch of different dump bodies, round dump bodies um, on it. We can shorten the chassis. But this is pretty versatile configuration for uh, construction truck use. And it's pretty clean looking truck. Dump body controls right here. Keyless entry key fobs. Thank you for viewing. This is Shay with Trucks to Sales. Please give us a call and visit our website for more information. That's www.truckstosales.com.